these are the products that you need to stay away from is definitely going to be a shocker for you all no hate for any brand it just gave me a chemical reaction hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here this is drishti vora so guys today's video is all about some products that have never worked for me and either they've given me a chemical reaction on my face or they just in general don't work and they just have you know really bad consistency or something or the other it has so i'm just going to let you guys know that uh, these are the products that you need to stay away from because they did not work for me and maybe they wouldn't work for you as well but uh, it's just a disclaimer that uh, i have no hate for any brand i have used you know uh, some products from those brands that i'm going to be showing you right now and i'm not hating on those brands it's just that that particular product i do not like also because it just gave me a chemical reaction since my skin is super sensitive without further ado let's dive right into it all right so the first product that i have for you is the dot and key rice water hydrating toner so guys i do not like this product because firstly it has a really strong fragrance and you know i'm all about fragrance less products and i did not like this at all also when i applied this on my face for the very first time i broke out like badly like when i say badly it means bad like i'm the type of person who never breaks out it's very like rare that i break out but this product did nothing for me apart from breaking out and just spoiled my skin so i do not like this product at all and i wouldn't ever recommend this to anyone uh it says rice water but i don't know why it has a very minty sort of a smell in it and it's so strong that it just gets to my head and i cannot use this at all so definitely a big no i have used products from dot and key like you know the sunscreen which is superb but i think there are some uh, products in the brand that do not work and i don't think this has worked for me also it's super sticky on my skin and i did not like that because i don't like toners which are sticky so uh, i did not use this at all as you can see it's full i just used some drops to you know patch test and it did not work for me so i just stick to my dabar gulabari and that works like beautifully on my skin and i do not need any toner i don't even use any toner apart from the gulab gel so if you are someone who has a sensitive skin please refrain from using this because this can you know lead to some breakout or some chemical reaction on your face so please don't use this so the next product that i have for you is the swiss beauty high coverage waterproof base foundation okay so i have used swiss beauty foundations and they're actually really good like some of them but this one is a big no firstly because the consistency of this foundation is not nice i did not like it personally and uh, it's too white on my skin for some reason plus uh, you know it leaves a lot of oil and i do not like that i'm not a fan of such foundation as you can see how white it is and i personally did not like this foundation they also have like limited shades in this this is definitely not my shade i thought this was my shade but it's not it's 03 natural beige this is definitely not my shade also because uh, it does not give any coverage and it just becomes like it doesn't even become skin like it just looks white on my face it looks like i've put atta on my face <laughs> this is not my shade for sure this is too white and i did not like this foundation so the next product that i have for you is from my glam and they're the lit matte lipsticks so guys uh, these are like beautiful shades uh, this is a really cool shade i actually love this shade but again uh, it's super drying out on my lips i tried using vaseline and you know then i tried applying it but still it was drying my skin out and also uh, it was you know cracking my lips which i definitely hate i just don't like lipsticks which tend to you know like crack your lips and even after like hydrating it really well it just did not work and i personally did not like this lipstick i have used the my glam cacao berry face wash which was 
beautiful but uh, i'm not a fan of these lipsticks they are actually super drying and i mean they don't even come off easily so i did not like that i think if lipsticks you know don't come out easily they can damage your lips which is not a good thing so i definitely don't recommend using these lit lipsticks so the next product that i'm going to be showing you is definitely going to be a shocker for you all because i know no one would expect this but this is a sad reality for this product and this is the morphe x james charles eyeshadow palette it is so expensive firstly um secondly it does not work nicely at all i did not like it personally so this palette has beautiful shades they literally have all the type of shades that you need you know shimmer matte neutral and you know colorful everything is there but the only drawback about this palette is that the pigments are so dry and you know flaky and they don't even blend in easily you have to keep blending it for like hours maybe but yeah they don't blend at all and it's super tough to blend them uh, i did not even like the pigments that much because uh, like you have to put so much product on your eye and then only you know the pigment comes out so that is definitely a big no for me so i only like products which are you know like one swipe and you're just done like you don't have to put tons of uh, pigments on your eyes and then only the color will pop so yes this palette is definitely a big no from me and i would never recommend because it's also super expensive and if you're spending so much money on such a palette they should at least you know give something which is good to the customers but it's fine there are some other palettes in the market as well which we can use and if you are looking to invest in this palette please don't because there are other palettes which are super good and i'm also going to mention them in my description so you can check that out and buy those instead of this so guys the last product that i'm going to be showing you is from sugar they're the mini lipsticks so guys i'm not a fan of these lipsticks because they're super drying out and it doesn't even come off easily they're kiss proof no doubt about that but uh, i don't want lipsticks to be that kiss proof also that you know when you remove it with a makeup remover then also it's not coming off it's not healthy for your lips because you can scratch your lips and it can start bleeding and there can be a lot of other things that can happen with your lips so please don't go for like you know kiss proof lipsticks which don't even come off when you're actually taking it off with a makeup remover or you know anything else so i will definitely not recommend buying these it's a waste of money for sure uh, there are other products from sugar which are super duper good but uh, i'm not a fan of this one these shades are really beautiful no doubt about that but they really don't work well it just cracks up my lips and uh, they're not very you know like hydrating they're drying out like super drying out and yeah so don't buy this please so guys that's it for today and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope you guys don't buy these products that i've just shown you because they definitely did not work for me if you guys want me to make more such videos then do let me know in the comments below so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and i'll be back soon with more such videos. Bye!